What's going on Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here bringing you this week's episode of What's New at Tackle Warehouse. So hopefully everyone's weather's cooling off, you're getting to enjoy some nice fall fishing. Uh, we got a bunch of hard baits we want to go over. This, these are going to be the time of the year to throw these things. So first up, we got a whole bunch of stuff from Team Arc Lures. So the first two here is the Team Arc Lipless Crankbait and the Team Arc Z Series Lipless Crankbait. So the regular lipless crank is gonna be your more traditional style lipless crank. It's gonna have that nice wide wobble, super loud rattle. Um, they come stock Mustang triple grip hooks on them. They got a bunch of great colors and they come in a great price point. I think they're $6.99. It's an awesome bait for the price. With their Z series, Z series comes in at $12.99 and partially because of that has become, it comes out of the package with Ishikawa Japanese treble hooks on it. So super sharp, nano coated. I mean, these things, they, they stick fish with just the slightest bit of pressure. So if you're getting a lot of short strikers, this is gonna be the one to check out. With the Z series, this has also got a little bit different vibration. It's gonna be kind of your more finesse style lipless crankbait. It's gonna have a tighter wobble, a little, a little bit um, tighter vibration and just um, a little higher pitched rattle chamber in it. So not as loud and aggressive as the, as the regular T-Mark lipless crankbait. Still awesome, you know, they both have, both are set up for different situations. You want to have both those in your tackle box to make sure you're ready to go for any situation you might encounter. The next one is our new square build from T-Mark. Um, they got this in two sizes. This is the bigger one. This is more your 2.5 size. They have them in, in a, I believe, a 55 and a 65 millimeter. What's cool about this, this uh, square build is it actually has a magnetic uh, weight transfer system in it. So when you snap it back or snap it down to the tail, you can feel that weight slide back into the tail and you're going to get great casting distance and great accuracy um, with this bait as well. Uh, a bunch of awesome colors again, triple grip hooks. The rest of the T-Mark stuff all has must add triple grip hooks on it. Just great value right out of the box. You don't have to mess with them. So their top waters they got. So they got their new popper and then they got their slider walking bait. On the popper, you know, perfect size is about two and a half inches. I believe it's a 70 millimeter. Um, they, you know, have a lot of details in them, like the, the gill plates, they got some flake on the bottom just to set them off a little bit. They, all their top waters also come with a feathered, a hand tied feathered treble on them. So pretty much everyone, you know, when you get a top water bait, you're going to want to put a feathered treble on it anyway. They're just saving you that cost. So it's ready to fish right out of the box. This popper, the way it's designed and balanced, it's going to pop really well. And it's also going to be really easy to walk. So you don't have to do anything to tune it and shave down the, the mouth, anything like that to get a good walking action out of your popper. Now with the slide bait, now this is your traditional walking style bait. So it's gonna get that real, you know, wide walking action and it's heavily tail weighted. So not only is it gonna cast good, is when you pause it, it's gonna sit tail down. So, uh, you know, you get it up next to a piece of cover, stop it, you know, that it's gonna, it's gonna go tail down. It just makes it e easier target for fish to attack. And it's not gonna just sit up there on the surface like all the other uh, walking baits. You know, when everyone's throwing a walking bait down the same stretch of shoreline by every dock post, you know, you're gonna have a little bit different action and just be able to catch a few more fish. So just a bunch of, you know, ton of new hard baits from T-Mark. Make sure you check them all out. The next one, we got a new square bell from, from Duo Realis. This one I'm, I'm super excited about. So this is the new Duo Realis Apex 66 squared square bell crankbait. This one is actually designed by Aaron Martins. It, in my opinion, everything that Aaron Martin's design has been thoroughly tested and refined and back to the drawing board. And he does so much work with designing every bait he puts his name on. So uh, this bait right here is going to be an aggressive, large body square bill crankbait. And the body is really wide, so it's really buoyant. So you can run this thing into cover and run it into the tops of uh, lay downs and stuff like that. And it's going to go over it like a four wheel drive. So it's going to have that high float. So if you run into something, you can stop it. It's gonna back right up on out of that. And uh, when you, you know, you're going through maybe treetops or something like that, hitting brush, when it deflect, it's gonna get that great deflecting action and it's gonna ride itself really quick. It's perfectly balanced, it's silent. So if you want something, you know, a little bit more toned down, not a rattling bait, uh, this is gonna be awesome crankbait to throw from Duo Realis. And it's got the sticky sharp nano coated treble hooks on there. Uh, you, you know, you can put whatever treble hooks you want, but you really don't need to with these dual realis hooks. They're ready to go. All right, next from Greenfish. So we got a couple baits from Greenfish sticking with the crankbaits. The first one is the new GT6 crankbait. So for all the balsa wood crankbait enthusiasts out there, you know, this is going to be one you want to throw in your box. You know, GT6 stands for go to six. So goes down to six feet. It's got a rounded circuit board lip. 
And since it's made out of balsa wood, it's got that nice tight hunting action. You know, when you hit it, when you bump into stuff, just like, you know, traditional balsa wood crankbaits, they get that great deflecting action that you can't really get with the plastic crankbait. That balsa really comes to life down there under the water. Just like all the green fish baits, I mean, there's such attention to detail on these things, the paint jobs, you know, super high quality triple grip hooks. I mean, you just can't beat them, you know, custom paint jobs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Duracoat seal on the outside, so it's gonna be really durable. You can catch a lot of fish on these things. It's still gonna hold that nice paint job and not get beat up like some of the old balsa crankbaits. Next up from Greenfish, switching over some wire baits. So this one here is their new single blade bal ballistic blade spinner bait. So single Colorado blade, the ballistic blade is already a phenomenal line of spinner baits. I personally own a few of them myself and stoked that they're coming out the single Colorado blade. So the fish are up shallow or you just have a lot of rain or flooding in your area and you're looking for that, you know, that shallow running, heavy thumping uh, Colorado blade, this is gonna be the one to check out. And it comes all the way up to three quarter ounce. So um, a lot of companies don't make a three quarter ounce offering. They got you covered, three eighths, half ounce and three quarter. Everything on these um, spinner baits are top notch. You know, custom hand painted heads on there and you can, you know, they're not just like a, a plain white, there's iridescent blue shine in there. And they do hand tied skirts on there, you know, really nice skirting material, super sharp, long shank hook on there. Uh, if you're looking for, you know, a shallow water, heavy thumping spinner bait for dirty water or even some nighttime fishing, if you still have some nighttime fishing to do while it's still warm, definitely gonna wanna put that one in the box. Next few wire baits we got here. So we got a couple from Stanley. This first one is the Stanley Big Shot. I'm pretty fired up about this one too. This Big Shot spinner bait weighs a full ounce. Um, out here in California, our reservoirs are really deep. Uh, we fish a lot of 20, 30, 40 feet deep um, a lot of the times. And with a one ounce spinner bait, sometimes it's hard to keep them down at that, you know, keep them down at that depth. This, you know, this is a full one ounce spinner bait, but the blades aren't super oversized. They're not, you know, giant number six, number seven blades on, uh, you know, willow leaf blades. They're relatively, you know, a, a compact side. They're still big blades. They're gonna put a lot of vibration and flash out there but they're not those giant oversized blades. So you're gonna be able to keep this down on offshore ledges, humps, islands, stuff like that. And yeah, I throw a lot of one ounce spinner baits at night as well. So don't let it fool you, throw these at night. Uh, big shots gonna be the way to go. If you're looking for a heavy spinner bait, check this one out from Stanley. The next one we got from Stanley is their new Ball Buster Buzz Bait. So it's super unique buzz bait design. As you can see, it has these two stainless steel ball bearings on here. And what those are gonna do every time this blade rotates, it's gonna click those, it's gonna click the two ball bearings and it's just gonna make a ton of racket. So a really loud buzz bait. It's got this flat head shape on it. So it rises up to the surface really quickly and you can fish it really slow too. So you can fish this a little bit slower than most of the other buzz baits out there on the market. Um, just, you know, great buzz bait. Right now, you know, there's gonna be a great topwater bite coming up here shortly. You're definitely not gonna wanna miss out on that. So make sure you get a buzz bait in the arsenal. All right, we got a few soft plastics here. Only got a couple soft plastics today. The first one here is from Gets It. This is their new Dying Shad 2. As you can see, it's a tiny little shad bait with, it's a unique design, it's a lead head, but the hook is coming out the side of the bait. So it's not coming out the top like you would with a traditional swim bait or anything like that. This is a super cool bait. I'm actually pretty fired up to try this too because you just want to throw it up under docks and around bushes and stuff like that. This is going to catch everything. I mean, it's just the perfect small little shad profile. It's got a light wire hook on it, so it's going to be great for throwing on spinning rods. And you're going to catch everything with this, you know, bass, you know, panfish, crappies, walleyes, you know, everything's going to eat this. You know, nothing can resist a little shad bait like that. And with this head design on here, and the hook going out the side of the body. So when you throw it in the water, it's actually gonna have kind of a spiraling action on the way down, just like a dying shad. So if you're looking for just a little shad imitator that you can go around, just have some fun, catch a ton of fish with, that's gonna be the one to grab is that new dying shad from Gets It, dying shad two, excuse me. All right, got a few tubes here for all the tube guys out there. So we got a new tube from Netbait. This is the STH Finesse Series tube. What's Great about this tube, as you can see, it comes in two sizes. I believe this is a 1.75 and then a four inch, uh, a four inch size tube. What they've done is most tubes come with about 60 to 70% body and then about 30 to 40% uh, tentacles. They've reversed that ratio and they're giving you a smaller body size and just much larger tentacles. So 
just flipping the ratios around, there's no other tubes that, you know, like that out there on the market. You know, these are made out of super soft plastic. They're injected and they have a ton of salt in them, a ton of scent. And with those extra long tails, you're just gonna get a ton more action. If you, you know, if you don't want all the action, you can trim them down and just make them like a traditional tube. You know, this little one, you can even throw this on a drop shot if you want. Just, you know, great new tube offerings here from, uh, from Gitsit. All right, next up from Strike King, we got some tools. Got some new KBD series tools. So these came out at the 2020 iCast show this year. So the first one we got there, precision split ring and braid scissors. Um, yeah, split ring plier and precision braid scissors. So uh, big grip on there. It's got the bent angle on the split ring tool, so it's a little bit easier to use than just a straight split ring tool. And then the super sharp serrated edge on there for cutting braids. So you can even cut eight, 10, you know, super thin braid and it, it slices right through there and a super affordable price as well. And the next one is the new KBD 15 in one multi-tool. So if you're looking for a multi-tool and you got pliers, knife, screwdriver, uh, saw, and it comes with a sheath as well. So got all the tools you would ever need on there, 15 in one, gotta have it in the boat. All right, last up, we got a couple new rod series. So this first one here is from Denali. This is the new Riker series. Um, great rod series. It's super lightweight, super comfortable. It comes in at $59.99, so super affordable as well. It's built on an IM6 blank, and it's got Duralock guide system on there. So you're gonna have a great guide system, a great blank, really lightweight, super comfortable. What I like about it is this new reel seat they put on there. So it's kind of a exposed reel seat, so you can put your hand right onto the blank. It's really comfortable that, you know, once you put a rod on there and everything and you're gonna fish with it, it's really comfortable rod. Soft EVA foam, just great rod, can't beat it for 59 bucks. Last up from Jenko, if you want something a little bit on the higher end of the spectrum, we got their new high roller deceiver series of rods. So this is built with their patented DCVR um, carbon blank technology. So extremely lightweight and sensitive blank, but you're not gonna sacrifice any of the durability with that. Um, they've also got an Alps titanium series of guides on here. So they're extremely light, super sensitive, and they're corrosion resistant. So you don't have to worry about your guides getting corroded, rusting up, or anything like that. If you want to fish in some salt water, this rod handles it no problem. Um, the grip on these, all weather, you know, all weather grip technology. I really like this style of grip, especially when it's raining or it's really hot outside, your hands are sweating, really comfortable. It's got a flat carbon fiber reel seat nut on here. So don't have that, any of those rough spots or anything you know, like that. So you lay, a, lay your hand on there, make contact with the blank. Super comfortable rod series. Just an awesome new rod from Jenko, Jenko Rods. All right, and that wraps it up for us today. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase products seen here today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.